Planes is a 2013 American 3D computer animated sports comedy film produced by Disneytoon Studios and released by Walt Disney Pictures. It is a spin-off of Pixar's Cars franchise. Despite not being produced by Pixar, the film was co-written and executive produced by Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios then Chief Creative Officer John Lasseter, who directed the first two Cars films. The film stars the voices of Dane Cook, Stacey Keach, Priyanka Chopra in her Hollywood debut, Brad Garrett, Terry Hatcher, Danny Mann, Julia Louis-Dreyfus, Roger Craig Smith, John Cleese, Carlos Alazraki, Val Kilmer, and Anthony Edwards. Like many of Disney Toon's films, it was initially set to be released as a direct-to-video film, but was instead theatrically released on August 9, 2013 in the Disney Digital 3D and Real 3D formats. The film grossed $239.3 million worldwide on a $50 million budget, despite receiving negative reviews from critics. A sequel, titled Planes, Fire and Rescue, was theatrically released on July 18, 2014. Plot Dusty Crowfopper is a crop duster plane who works at a cornfield and practices aerobatic maneuvers in his spare time, dreaming of becoming a racer. His dreams are scorned by his boss, Leadbottom, and his forklift, mechanic friend, Dotty. However, he is supported by his fuel truck friend, Chug. Dusty and Chug train for qualifiers for the upcoming wings across the globe race. On the night before the qualifiers, Dusty asks an elderly Navy warplane named Skipper Riley to teach him how to fly well, but Skipper refuses. Dusty barely qualifies for the race. Skipper decides to mentor Dusty, and discovers Dusty has a fear of heights. With training complete, Dusty travels to New York City to start the race. There he befriends a Mexican race plane named El Chupacabra, who falls in love with a French-Canadian racer named Rochelle, who shows no interest in him. Three-time winner Ripslinger rudely dismisses Dusty. Dusty falls in love with an Indian racer plane named Ashani, who becomes supportive of him. During the first leg of the race from New York to Iceland, Dusty's refusal to fly high causes him to finish in last place. During the second leg of the race to Germany, Dusty shows good sportsmanship by saving another racer, Bulldog, from crashing, winning Bulldog's respect but finishing last again. After the third leg of the race to Agra in India, Ashani invites Dusty to fly around the Taj Mahal and advises him to fly low through the Himalayas by following some railroad tracks. After flying through a tunnel, Dusty is in first place at Upper Mustang in Nepal, but he realizes that Ashani deliberately gave him bad advice, and he shuns her. As the race continues towards Shanghai, Dusty maintains his lead. In Shanghai, Dusty helps El Chupacabra Wu Rochelle with a romantic song. In the sixth leg of the race across the Pacific, Ripslinger's henchmen sabotage Dusty's navigation antenna. Lost and low on fuel, Dusty comes across the USS Fliesenhauer which allows him to land and refuel. On the carrier, Dusty discovers that Skipper only flew one war mission, which contradicts his reputation. Continuing the race, Dusty crashes into the ocean but is rescued. Severely damaged, he is flown to Mexico. Skipper confesses that his one mission leading trainees turned tragic, and Skipper was the only survivor. Dusty considers dropping out of the race but is encouraged by his friends who donate repair parts. 
Racing back to New York, Ripslinger plots to finish off Dusty but he is thwarted by Skipper. Dusty conquers his fear of heights when he is forced to ride the jet stream. Nearing the finish line, Ripslinger slows for the cameras while Dusty passes him to win. Ripslinger crashes into portable toilets. Dusty is congratulated by his friends, and Skipper thanks him for giving him the confidence to fly again. Skipper rejoins the Navy, flying one last time with Dusty. Voice cast Dane Cook as Dusty Crowfopper. He was inspired by the Air Tractor at 502, Cessna 188 and the PZL Mirlitz M18 Dromeda. Stacy Keach as Skipper Riley, a chance Vought F4U Corsair and Dusty's mentor, who appeared in the Cars Tunes episode, Air Mater. Danny Mann as Sparky, a forklift, who appeared in the Cars Tunes episode, Air Mater. Priyanka Chopra as Ashani, a Pan-Asian champion from India, based on the Aerocad Aerocanard. Brad Garrett as Chug, a fuel truck. Terry Hatcher as Dotty, a forklift. Cedric the Entertainer as Leadbottom, a biplane inspired by the Boeing Stearman Model 75 with a partial engine cowl. Julia Louis-Dreyfus as Rochelle, a racing plane inspired by the Bay Super V, a conversion of the V-tail Model 35 Beechcraft Bonanza. Originally from Quebec, her flag and paint job are localised in 11 countries. In Australia and New Zealand, Rochelle is recontextualized as a former Tasmanian mail delivery plane, and is voiced by Jessica Marais. In Italian, she is Azura, an Italian prototype plane voiced by Michaela Ramazzotti. Roger Craig Smith as Ripslinger, a custom-built carbon fiber plane most likely inspired by a modified P51D Mustang for racing and Dusty's rival. Gabriel Iglesias as Ned and Zed, Ripslinger's henchman inspired by the Zivco Edge 540 and MX Aircraft MXS. John Cleese as Bulldog, a de Havilland DH.88 Comet, Carlos Alazraki as El Chupacabra, a GB Model R Val Kilmer as Bravo, a Boeing F.A-18E Super Hornet from U.S. Navy Fighter Squadron VF-A-103. Anthony Edwards as Echo, another Boeing F.A-18E Super Hornet from U.S. Navy Fighter Squadron VF-A-103. Colin Cowherd as Colin Cowling, a blimp. In the UK, the blimp character is named Lofty Crofty and is voiced by Sky Sports F1 commentator David Croft. Sinbad as Roper, a forklift. Oliver Kalkoffe as Franz aka von Fliegenhosen, a German aerocar. Brent Musburger as Brent Mustangberger, a 1964 and a half Ford Mustang, who appeared in Cars 2. John Ratzenberger as Harland, a jet tug. Barney Harwood as Skycam 1, a red helicopter filming the race over Germany. Topic: Production. Planes is based on a concept created by John Lasseter. Although Pixar did not produce the film, Lasseter, then chief creative officer of both Pixar and Walt Disney Animation Studios, and director of Cars and Cars 2, was also the executive producer of the film. The writers made a conscious effort to not remake Cars in a new setting, rejecting ideas that were too close to ideas in Cars. 
The team also conducted research by interviewing several pilots of plane types that were included in the movie. John Cryer was initially announced as the voice of the main protagonist Dusty, but later dropped out and was replaced by Dane Cook. A modified version of the teaser trailer for the film featuring Cook's voice in place of Cryer's was released on February 27, 2013. Cryer did however receive credit on the film for additional story material, along with Bob's Ganaway. Prana Studios provided work on visual effects, animation and compositing. Release Planes was originally set to be released in North America as a direct-to-video film in fall 2013, while having a theatrical release in Europe. However, in December 2012 Disney announced that the film would be released theatrically. This was the first Disney Toon Studios film released theatrically in North America since Pooh's Heffalump movie eight and a half years earlier in 2005. The film premiered on August 2, 2013, at a special screening at the Fly-In Theatre at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh, an annual gathering of aviation enthusiasts in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Along with the special screening of the movie, Disney brought a real-life Dusty to be part of the activities. The real-life version of Dusty was an air tractor AT-400A piloted and owned by agriculture pilot Rusty Lindemann. The film was theatrically released on August 9, 2013, when it was also screened at the D23 Expo in Anaheim, California, a biennial convention for Disney fans. Home media Planes was released by Walt Disney Studios Home Entertainment on DVD, Blu-ray and Blu-ray 3D on November 19, 2013. Blu-ray bonus features include, Franz's Song, an alternate sequence produced exclusively for the Blu-ray and HD digital releases, the featurette, Please Flight Plan which follows director Clee Hall's personal journey during the making of the film, two deleted scenes with introductions by the director and producer, character interstitials, and Top Ten Flyers, a countdown of history's greatest aviators hosted by Colin Cowherd. Reception Topic. Critical response The review aggregator website Rotten Tomatoes reported a 25% approval rating with an average rating of 4.56, 10 based on 117 reviews. The website's consensus reads Planes has enough bright colors, goofy voices, and slick animation to distract some young viewers for 92 minutes, and probably sell plenty of toys in the bargain, but on nearly every other level, it's a Disney disappointment." Another review aggregator, Metacritic, which assigns a normalized rating out of 100 top reviews from mainstream critics, calculated a score of 39 based on 32 reviews, indicating, "...generally unfavorable reviews." However, the film earned an A- minus from audiences polled by Cinemascore. Peter Hartlaub of the San Francisco Chronicle gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying, Many will enter theaters thinking this is a Pixar film, with the raised expectations that accompany that mistake. But even cynical animation fans will see there's quality here. After a little turbulence, Planes comes in for a nice landing. 
Alonso Duralde of The Wrap gave the film a positive review, saying, "...as shameless an attempt by Disney to sell more bedspreads to the under-10s as planes is, it nonetheless manages to be a minor lark that will at least mildly amuse anyone who ever thrust their arms outward and pretended to soar over the landscape." Justin Chang of Variety gave the film a negative review, saying, Planes is so overrun with broad cultural stereotypes that it should come with free ethnic sensitivity training for especially impressionable kids." James Rocky of MSN Movies gave the film one out of five stars, saying, Planes borrows a world from cars, but even compared to that soulless exercise in well-merchandised animated automotive adventure, Planes is dead in its big, googly eyes and hollow inside." Michael Rechtshafen of The Hollywood Reporter gave the film a negative review, saying, Despite the more aerodynamic setting, this car's 3D offshoot emerges as an uninspired retread." Jordan Hoffman of the New York Daily News gave the film one out of five stars, saying, "...the jokes in planes are runway flat, and parents will likely reach for the air sickness bag." Bill Goodekunz of the Arizona Republic gave the film two out of five stars, saying, "...planes was originally scheduled to be released straight to video. Although the smallest children might like bits and pieces of it, there's nothing in the movie that suggests why Disney strayed from its original plan." David Hiltbrand of the Philadelphia Inquirer gave the film one out of four stars, saying, "...the animated film has all the hallmarks of a straight-to-DVD project—inferior plot, dull writing, cheap drawing—perhaps because it was intended for the bargain bin at Target, Walmart, and Costco." Jen Cheney of the Washington Post gave the film one and a half stars out of four, saying, "...this film is 100% devoid of surprises. It's the story of an underestimated underdog that's like every other kid-friendly, life-coachy story about an underestimated underdog." Rafa Guzman of Newsday gave the film one and a half stars out of four, saying, if planes were a reasonably priced download, you'd gladly use it to sedate your kids during a long car ride. As a theatrical, 3D release, however, planes will sedate you, too." Neil Jenslinger of The New York Times gave the film two out of five stars, saying, Planes is for the most part content to imitate rather than innovate, presumably hoping to reap a respectable fraction of the box office numbers of Cars and Cars 2, which together made hundreds of millions of dollars. Lou Luminick of the New York Post gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying, Often less really is more, and that's why I can recommend Planes, a charmingly modest low-budget spin-off from Pixar's Cars that provides more thrills and laughs for young children and their parents than many of its more elaborate brethren. Bruce DeMara of the Toronto Star gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying, while the plotting is rather pedestrian, the humor mostly lame, what makes Planes a standout experience? Not surprisingly, based on Disney's vast and impressive history of animated classics, is the visuals. Claudia Puig of USA Today gave the film two out of four stars, saying, it's engaging enough, driving home the familiar message of following one's dreams and the less hackneyed theme of facing one's fears. But it feels far too familiar. Betsy Sharkey of the Los Angeles Times gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying, As with cars, the world of planes feels safe. A little too safe, perhaps.
Richard Roper of the Chicago Sun-Times gave the film a C, saying, Planes moves along quickly at a running time of 92 minutes, occasionally taking flight with some pretty nifty flight sequences. The animation is first rate, and the Corningware colors are soothing eye candy. Tom Kyo of the Seattle Times gave the film two and a half stars out of four, saying, Though not officially a Pixar production, the new planes, released by the beloved animation studio's parent company, Disney, has the look and feel of Pixar's 2006 hit, Cars, if not the latter's charm or strong story. Stephen Whitty of the Newark Star-Ledger gave the film two out of four stars, saying, It's strictly by the numbers, from the believe-in-yourself moral to the purely predictable ending. Owen Gleiberman of Entertainment Weekly gave the film a B, saying, What Planes lacks in novelty, it makes up for with eye-popping aerial sequences and a high-flying comic spirit. A. A. Dowd of the AV Club gave the film a D+, saying, Planes cuts corners at every turn, a strategy that leaves it feeling like the skeletal framework of an incomplete Pixar project. R. Kurt Ozenlund of Slant Magazine gave the film one out of four stars, saying, the film feels second-rate in every sense, from the quality of its animation to its C-list voice cast. Dave Calhoun of Time Out gave the film three out of five stars, saying, Planes isn't a Pixar film, even if it's related to one. Disney bought Pixar in 2006, and there's nothing groundbreaking about the animation or script. That said, the characters and story still offer Loki charms. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Box Office. Planes, despite negative reception, grossed $90,288,712 in the United States and Canada, and $148,970,000 in other countries, for a worldwide total of $239,258,712, and was a box office success. The film opened to number three in its first weekend, with 22232291 dollars behind Elysium and with the Millers. In its second weekend, the film dropped to number four, grossing an additional $13,388,534 dollars. In its third weekend, the film dropped to number five, grossing $8,575,214. In its fourth weekend, the film stayed at number five, grossing $7,751,705. Accolades. <laughs> <laughs> Topic Soundtrack The film's score was composed by Mark Mancina. The soundtrack was released by Walt Disney Records on August 6, 2013. Track listing All music composed by Mark Mancina, except as noted. Topic Video Game Disney Interactive released Disney Planes, a video game based on the film, on August 6, 2013. It was released on Wii U, Wii, Nintendo 3DS, and Nintendo DS. Topic sequel A sequel, titled Planes, Fire and Rescue, was theatrically released on July 18, 2014. 
Bob's Ganaway, co-creator of Jake and the Neverland Pirates and co-director of Secret of the Wings, directed the film. Dane Cook reprised his role of Dusty, and was joined by Julie Bowen as the voice of Lil Dipper. Rather than publishing An Art of Book for Planes, Chronicle Books published The Art of Planes 1 and 2 alongside the sequel's theatrical release. The music for the film was again composed by Mark Manchina. <laughs> 